Hello, 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 everybody. This is Dr. Sneever, Earlier Craft Doctor, and I'm here with a haul video to show you the box from the Anna Griffin Create event, uh, scrap at home event. I just got my box in, and I'm excited to show all the Anna Griffin paper goodness. So this is the box, just like the one that we received from the Create event in November. So this is the same type of box that we received. We just received two of them. Okay, so let's open this baby up. Okay, first thing is the invitation information. And let's see what this one looks like. Feels like there's a pen in here too. I think we got a pen the last time too, a lapel pen. I love this uh Thing. I kept my last one too. Okay, so go that away. So, yep, it's the welcome. Let's make sure there's no codes or nothing on here. Yep, there's our pen um, for create crop at home, and it's it says Anna Griffin create 2021 crop at home. Okay, and then we have a nice welcome letter. Your link and password to the stream will be sent via email. Okay, and then we have our class schedule so we don't know when everything is happening. This is event is May the 1st. I'm not sure if they have any more tickets for it or not. Um, you could probably check uh, the website, um, HSN maybe. Uh, I know HSN had some, but I'm not sure if they still do though because they only get a limited number of them. Okay, that's the first thing. And then, first things first is we get a swag bag. I love the fact that they do that. This is just extra paper that you get, um, that you can use for later. Um, and sometimes you can use in your physical projects that you're going to do for the day. Okay, we got a lot of nice gold accent pieces, which um, the last one we did not get this I don't think I don't remember seeing these so this is a good um addition so you can have some accents that is really pretty yeah it's a stack of them too it's not just like one it's six of them two four six yeah there's six of them very nice very, very nice. Are these, uh, oh, yeah, look, they're pears. So that's even better. I love when she does pears stuff. Gorgeous goodness. Gorgeous paper goodness is what I call it. It's just gorgeous paper goodness. Yeah, that's that. Is that that? No, that's not that. I don't know. It doesn't matter. They're just gorgeous all day long just gorgeousness okay so you got a chance to see all of them and there's six of each one so you we got the opportunity to put them either direction or use them on one piece one going in one direction one going in the other okay so let's slide this back in here the one thing about these kits is that it's best when you open them to put them right back into the pouches because you don't want to get them mixed up because she do choose out the pouch directly. She'll tell you um, this is for class number, whatever it is. And so you don't want to mix up. And sometimes she'll say, go into swag bag number whatever and get this. So... Always keep your stuff in the, where you got it from. Okay, and then this is the paper. I don't want to tear it. Okay, let's see what paper, this paper it is. I'm praying all of it is double-sided. Okay, first of all, this is paper. This is actual paper. This is not um, cardstock. And um, the reason why you want to use paper is because if you make it too thick, it may not slide into your your sleeves. 
um, and the pages will be too heavy. See, for me, I'm a card maker, so I'm using the crap at home um, for a different reason than most. I don't really do this size of um, this size of uh, album. So what I'm going to do is take this and put a cardstock backing on the back because I have 12 by 12 cardstock and then cut these pieces down to fit my mini albums because I do mini albums, not full size 12 by 12. But I do have 12 by 12 sleeves, but they're for other things. But this is uh, so it's just an idea of how you can use this paper and to make it into something else. Just tape it on some cardstock. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All of these extra pieces. Oh, look, that's beautiful curtains or beautiful curtain backdrops. Look at this beautiful tie for a man. Gorgeous. How many sheets are you getting? Four sheets a piece. Four sheets. That's a nice tie example. Nice gold papers. Love it. How many of these you getting? Oh, two, four, five, six. Oh, 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 oh. two, four, six. Oh, look at that. Look at the swag bag with the, okay, with all the extras. We're loving it. So this is not dedicated to any class. This is just extra. Loving that. Okay, I'm putting everything back so I don't get it mixed up. Okay, next we have, what does this say? Heritage. This is called the Heritage file. So let's unwrap Heritage. These papers are so pretty. So then we get a few generations of love. So I remember seeing some designs, but I'm not sure if that's the actual design we'll be making, but they use these little tags as like you put here and, um, or put here or put wherever to the note. Yeah. That's cute. All of these different ones. Okay. So that's these. So as we do this, I will be altering what I'm doing. So they're going to do 12 by 12, but mine will be a more a smaller size than a 12 by 12. So that's going to take some time to do because I'm going to be altering. So when you see the project, or I'll do their project and then I'll alter it afterwards. Look at these cuteness. Look at this paper. Good. Look at those birds. Because since I don't do 12 by 12, it will afford me the opportunity to do some other things with these. Oh, look at these. These are beautiful. These are very big flowers, but they're big because they're bouncing off. If you look at it, they're bouncing off 12 by 12s. That's why they're so big. Okay, so you were wondering. But they fit perfectly on a 5 by 7 card, 6 by 6 card these sizes and these are very realistic looking flowers as you can tell very realistic looking very beautiful okay so there is enough supply so what I might do is do a 12 by 12 page mock it so when they're using permanent adhesive I'll use temporary adhesive so that I can take it up. I'm, I gotta just I gotta see how it works and then um, do it. Okay, and then we have the paper, which these gorgeous decoupages match the paper. Okay, so let's see how much of this. This is cardstock to. We're getting three. And then, is this cardstock? Yeah, that's cardstock. Three of these, each one of these. <coughs> that, we got this nice 
different color blue. These are single sided and that's because you don't need double sided when you're working with a scrapbook page because the underside is glued down. I love this. Right. I really do love it. I've seen this. Did I? A form of this paper was in one of the other kits that we received. Super cute. I love the, the black and white tones. There we go. I love this. I really do love this. Um, they did the same thing with these black and white, like colored version, black and white or gray tones in the last kit too. Oh, heaven. That is so cute. Not my favorite. Not my favorite. Okay. So that was that class. right? There. This one is called Heritage. Okay. Let's slap heritage stuff back in its okay. next we have happy and am I mistaken or is this class spanning over two days this is the first and the second or is it just the first let's see I remember. I'm looking on the thing. Yeah, it's the first and the second. So we're going to do a big kickoff event. Then we're going to do class one, class, a break, class two, a break, class three, a break, and then we'll do a spotlight. Um, I wonder if we're going to do the nighttime thing like we did before. We got a chance to talk to one another. Um, okay, so then that should have been class one and two. And then this would be three. Uh, well, you know what? Is there, did I read that right? There are six classes, but not six kits. Let me see. Um, oh, yeah, there are six classes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, there are six classes. So we have the swag bag and heritage. And then we have happy and what is this? Handsome. Okay, so they're doing two, one class from more than one kit. Okay, I had to figure that out because last time we did six classes, but we had six six kits. They're, what they did this time was combine them papers. Okay, so much fun. That's what we're going to have. So much fun. Bless beyond measure. Best day ever. Better together. These are just super cute. Happy times and careful days. I think these are really, really cute. Okay. Get back in there. That's super cute. Not a lot of sentiment to this time though but of course we have our standard and our flower bunches okay everybody who's watching this video i need y'all to tell me do y'all have a lot of anna griffin flowers because after every kit you get a stack like this and you don't use them all and so you end up with a lot of them do you have a lot of anna griffin flowers oh that one has acorns on it that's a different this is different i love these Yes, yes, yes. All of this paper goodness. Ooh, look at that. That reminds me of a nice heartfelt creation, something or other. With these, ooh, -wee, look at this. Focus camera. That's so cute. Gorgeous. You, know, you can't tell me you can't put this on a whole card. And then put a sentiment next to it. Voila. Yes. Lovely. 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 Y'all. I'm loving this. Loving this. 
Levelless. Are these, are these, let's, let's say they are, yes, they are, they are stickers. Yes, which makes them even better to work with because they're stickers. Well, unless you want to use them for decoupage, then you just use your cornstarch or your powder and take the sticky away, which is what I do quite often. I take the sticky away. Or if I'm only using part of it to stick down, I'll take off only half of the sticker. Okay. The hardest part is got to be putting this stuff back in these little bags. I got to get them in here. How did you get it in here? Okay. Now let's see what this paper is going to look like. Or what it looks like. I love these big flowers. Okay. Is this paper? Yeah, this is paper. This, we must gonna be cutting up. Oh, that's the two different colorways. Is this different colorways of the same flower? Let's see. No. These are some plain ones. I love it. Super cute. Oh, that's the colorway of that. Super cute, y'all. This is a lot of paper because I'm moving them by color, but there's three of each sheet. Are these two of each sheet? Oh, no, there's the third one. Yeah, so there's three of each sheet. So we're getting a lot of paper. Men's. Got to be doing some with a man. I'm sure of it. Okay, there's another man's. All right, we can't forget about the men's. Yep, we should be doing something with a man's stuff. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, so this one is called Heritage. No, this is called Happy. This is called Happy. Y'all, are y'all happy so far with this? I'm loving the happiness. I'm feeling the love. Yep, are y'all feeling this? I'm feeling this. Okay, I'm going to put this back in here. Because I don't want nothing to happen to that. Okay. And last but not least, this is called Handsome. So this is definitely all men. All men. All men. <laughs> all men. Look at these. This is the gentleman's study. I can see it from afar. Gorgeous gentleman study stuff. Look at that. I don't know what that is, but it's really pretty. Looks like locks. Or buckles. I don't know. Look at that. These are going to make some gorgeous men. The gentleman study is just very regal for a man anyway. Look, I don't know what this is. It looks like a buckle. First of all, I just want to say kudos to the designers who can do this kind of stuff. Who can draw this type of stuff from the imaginations. From getting them from old books. Because I've seen these in history books. Oh, I'm like, why do they look different? Is there white? Like these these type of things. I've seen these flourishes in Roman history books and stuff. So to be able to pull them out and make them look this beautiful is fabulous. Three-star general. I'm a military person, so you know those stars remind me of military. Super. Yeah, this is gentleman study. I like how they made these swirly things men manly. Look at these helicopters. They're the bombers from back in the day. Look at the car Ford. I don't know if it's a Ford or not, y'all. I just live in Michigan, so Henry Ford's here. And my favorite pastime. If anybody know me, the only sport I really like is baseball. Love it. Definitely will be doing something with that. I have an old picture of my brother. I may make a copy of it and do something for his son. That would be really nice. Then we have food, the ball, and the trophy. 
yeah, I think that would be a winner. Taking this one and the trophy and put my brother's picture right there. because My brother passed on several years ago um, when, when his son was young. And I think that would be really beautiful to do that with the football because I mean, he was a sports fanatic. I mean, ba baseball. He was a sports fanatic, but I would only use baseball because that's what I liked. We used to go to Tiger Stadium when it was around. Now we go to Comerica Park, which is just really huge. Okay, and then we also have a pack of the sentiments. And I'm just giving you a bird's eye view of what's really in this kit. And the reason why I like, I'm doing it this way so you can see these type of things. If you have Anna Griffin's um, treasury, you can make this type of thing. All you need is to take the dies and foil them. Stamp your words in there and foil off the dies or any dies. You just, it doesn't have to be just hers, but that's why I want you to kind of see what they look like. Super cute. Okay. Now let's see what the man's paper look like. Let's see what our man paper look like. I know there are going to be some creative stuff going on. Okay, let's see what this looks like. It looks, does it look like, it doesn't look like a man suit. This looks like um, curtains. <laughs> look like some curtains, Anna. This one looks like some curtains too. Come on with the man's looking stuff. Okay, that look like a tie. Look like a tie or a shirt. That look like a tie. Yep, looks like a tie. See that? Then we have these solid colors. It, does, it looks like wallpaper. The thickness of this cardstock is very nice, too. You hear that? Nice thickness. And that's the other, another colorway. Oh, that's a tie all day, y'all. I think my father even had a tie like this. So my husband might even have one. His father had one or something. Another colorway of that same one. It's, it's like a gray. That's red. Yep. Ties. Super cute. I love the man paper. Okay. I love the man paper. Okay, so now let's get to the best part. Um, also, the, the I want to say for May 12th, 13th, whenever the next craft day it is in May, then you can buy the dies for this. They may be out. It was, a, I'm sorry, not May, April. April. It might be May. I don't really know. But you, you, you're going to be able to buy the dies for this. Um. And so this is the tools. It's called tools. This is our tools. And they can't just say dies because we have these cute and bossing folders. Super cute and bossing folders. So now you can cut out the long dies because they're dies for this. And emboss that piece and give it some texture. More texture, more texture. Okay. So we have... This one that matches the gentleman's study. You can see that. This one matches borders. I think this one is another border. Oh. And that one. And then it has like examples how you can cut it out. Use it for, see that border? Look at that gentleman study one. That's really cute. How they, what they did was emboss this paper. How did you emboss this paper? Oh, because the plate is big enough, dummy. Nuts in the nut zones. That's me sometimes. You can take this through the large plate system and emboss it. 
see if I can get this back in here. Probably not, because I'll probably tear this thing all the way down. Oh, I got it in there. Somewhat. Still tore it. Tore it. I still tore it. Oh, I got it back in there. I tore it up, but still. Now we and we have these big word sentiments. It says birthday, friends, memories, blessed, love, brave, dreams, family, and sweet. So sweet dreams. Uh, no happy birthday memories, blessed friends, brave love, brave family. I don't know. <laughs> okay. And then these are those dies that match the emboss folders. Right here. These dies match the embossing folders. And this is what I was saying. You can do some texture to those embossing folders. I'm going to say that one because it took me a year to get it off. Look how beautiful those are. Nice borders, 12 by 12. Yeah, 12 by 12 borders. And yes, beautiful. And then see how they're put together on here. That's fabulous. Fabulous. So now and you can like cut this off. Like, so if you put this together, you can, you know, you, you can put this on a card and you can just cut it in half and put one side over here and one side over here because it's now stressed out. That type of thing. Very nice. Very, very in lovely. And last but not least, we have the frame dies. Look at these frame dies. Okay, y'all, really. This is going to make some gorgeous cards. Look at those frame dies. Beautiful. And then these must cut out like matte layers. So you, you get three sets of frames. See that? Three sets of frames. Photo frame dies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And see the paper, how you can make some paper goodness. See how they photo frame those in? Really nice. So you cut out your frame and use this to cut out the frame to put to cut the picture. You cut the picture with these and cut the frame. And yeah, beautiful. Lovely. So this is our... Rock at home bundle and I think it's going to be a fabulous class and like I always say it's not necessarily the class that we take but it's the relationships we make and so we're going to be able to communicate with people and talk to them and I think it's lovely I think the fact that we have this opportunity um, is outstanding and I will come in every day after the class to show you what we have made. I won't show you how we made it, but I'll show you what we make because it is unfair to show all the proprietary information until it's all out. So I don't do that. But this is our Anna Griffin Crop at Home Create 2021. And I think this is lovely. I can't wait to the other one in November. I'm sure those tickets will go on sale in the next couple of months. So I will be getting mine. Um, but y'all, I can't wait to show you all of this crafty goodness when we have Create Crop at Home. So thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, if you like this paper, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.